Hi, I'm Nipun Suvandaratne. I'm a senior solutions engineer at WSO2. And in this screencast, we'll take a look at some of the basic mobile device management features of the WSO2 IoT server. So we'll start off by enrolling an Android device and then looking at some basic mobile device management features. And then we'll take a look at how to enforce a policy onto the device. And then finally, how to create users and user roles. So I screened my mobile device screen onto my desktop so that we can see what's going on on the mobile as well. Now we will log into the mobile device management console as an administrator. And once we log in, we see a set of options uh, for devices, for device groupings, for users, for user roles, and for policies. And on the top, we got another set of menu options, uh, once again, for the same operations plus uh, platform configurations. So if we click on view under devices, we can see a set of enrolled devices. So these devices will show under each user. It will show the enrolled user and their current active uh, status. So if we go to add a device, we can see the platform options here. Currently, we can see Android and Windows. If iOS was configured, it would show iOS there as well. We, we fully support iOS. And to enroll an Android device, we see three options. One is to email a link to download the APK. The other one is to manually download the APK and install it on the device. And the third option is to get a QR code that will direct you to a link to download the APK. So we will be using the QR code option. So once you click that, a QR code will pop up and you can scan it using your mobile device and download the APK from that location. So we are going to download the APK to install the Android agent. I'm going to start installing the agent now. So at this point, I get an option to either pick uh, setting up a work profile or directly going into enrollment. So we'll go directly to enrollment. And here I get an option to enter uh, the server URL. So we'll enter the server URL here. So the next step, I get to select whether it's a bring your own device option or a corporate device. So we'll select the bring your own device option. So for that, I need to enroll with a user. And if you see the left hand side of the screen, I have several users uh, that I have created on uh, the device on, on the system. So I'm going to sign in with the user called Peter. Once I click register, I have to agree with the policies and then enter a PIN code. The reason for entering this PIN code is that this is a personal device. We selected the BYOD option. So for critical operations, uh, the user's consent uh, would be required uh, by the means of the PIN code. Now I've activated uh, the agent and now we can control the device using uh, the MDM functionality offered by the IoT server. So if we check under device management now, we can see that the device has been enrolled under the user Peter. So if you click on the device, you will be taken to a screen that shows a device summary, uh, a few device uh, operations, and a few more menu items uh, such as policy compliance, device location, uh, and uh, install applications and an operation log. So to start off with, we'll uh, do a simple device operation, which is pushing a message to the device. I'm going to click on message and type in a message. And once I click send to device, you'll see it appearing on the device on the right hand side of the screen. Similarly, I can ring the phone. So the phone ring operation has been pushed and my phone is ringing now on silent mode.
So the other options are you can see any policies that have been enforced. Currently, we do not have any policies enforced on the device. We'll look at it uh, next. And device location. So once device location is enabled and we get the GPS signals, uh, the device location will be displayed on a map on the screen. Next is the installed applications. So all the installed applications uh, would be shown here. And the next one is an operation log. So next we'll take a look at how to uh, enforce a policy. So we are going to go to the policy option on the top menu, click add new policy, and then select Android. Once again, if iOS was configured, it would show here. So there are quite a few policy options, starting with passcode policy that allows you to define the maximum and minimum password length, the required number of complex characters, the maximum um, uh, retry attempts, etc. And then restrictions such as restricting the camera and restrictions that can be enforced onto work profiles such as restricting app installation and uninstallation. Then we have a set of uh, restrictions that can be enforced on when the agent is the device or on a, in a corp scenario, such as SMS and outgoing call uh, restrictions. And then we have encryption settings. These settings allow you to encrypt the device when it's locked and you need to enter the passcode to view the uh, data. And then configuring Wi-Fi settings and advanced Wi-Fi settings, VPN configurations and work profile configurations and application restrictions so for example if you want to block out the google play store you can uh, select blacklist and then uh, enter the google play store package and then that application will be blocked on the device and then uh, system update policies for uh, corporate uh, devices so for this policy, we'll uh, enforce a restriction on the camera. I'm going to untick the allow use of camera. And so right now you can see on the right hand side, my camera can be used at this moment. So I have not enforced the policy yet. So now I'm going to enforce this policy. So I can enforce it either to all the users or selected a set of user roles. Uh, so if it's, let's say, all the managers or all the engineers in a company, I can do that or I can select individual users. And I can select for device groups and any action that needs to be performed where if there is a non-compliance by any chance so i'm going to click on continue and then i'm going to enter a name for the policy and publish the policy So now we can see the policy under our policy list. However, it's not enforced onto any of the devices yet. For us to enforce it onto the selected devices, we need to click on apply changes to devices. And once we do that, it will be enforced onto the selected devices. So if we go into our device overview and check on policy compliance, you can see that a new policy called cam block has been enforced and it's in an active state. So now if I try to use the camera, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, the system will not allow me to access the camera. It will be blocking it out with a message. Next, we'll take a look at creating users and user roles. I'm going to select user from the top menu. And then it shows me a set of users who are already in the system. I'm going to click add user and enter a username. And the other credentials.
and I'm going to enter the user roles. So the IoT server has role-based access control. So a single user can have one or many roles, can be en enlisted under one or many roles. So I've created the user and once again, I can see a QR code that can be used to enroll devices. So it shows my newly created user here. So similarly, I'm going to create a user role. Once again, selecting roles from the top menu. And from here, here I can see the already existing roles such as engineer, manager, admin. I'm going to click on add role to create a new role. I'm going to create a role called analyst. And then enter the users who have uh, who have this role permission. So whoever the users I enter here would automatically be assigned uh, this role as well. So the next option is to select the permissions so I can select whatever the permissions that the users who are enlisted under this role would have so it gives me a permission tree and I can select whatever the permissions that I want uh, under this role that's it for this session which is on basic mobile device management features of the WSO2 IoT server thank you